definitely better than that. <laughs> well, it is me. It, it, it is P. Period. That bass, that bass, that, 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 that bass pop. Got them shape of the billy. They got the flash on, bro. Come on, we a hey, paparazzi snapping. <laughs> Hold on, bro. We got the paparazzi going on in there, man. It's been a long time. Episode one hundred and one. Yeah, we gonna scrap the other one hundred and one. We gonna tell nobody about it though. Oh, I just told. Oops. <laughs> Bro, you <laughs> my fault, my fault. <laughs> Come on, play. Let me get some, let me get some sultry, smooth, sultry rapping going on. If the feeling is plutonic, just know the niggas that run this. Mm. Money on my mind, didn't need a label to fund this. Endeavors I'm pursuing, empires like I was Lucius. Never foolish, niggas goofy as beauty with diamonds suiting. So how did he go from novice to student, then from student to tutor? Now he's teaching the rubric. Okay. Then switch it up with the script like Kubrick with movies. My first time writing in months, cause niggas didn't move me. From tears to laugh, they acknowledge that niggas cancers. Mm. Kara does niggas act and guess it's in fashion. Okay. Managing all my peace, so fuck a reaction. Yeah. But in peace, you arrest if niggas start acting. The base going about who they feel is the best. But on my mind is stressed, counting my days like if I was next. The pressure they express could feel it all in my chest. I know my happiness had left when I laid my granny to rest. Woo. Tears flowing every time I write. Mm -hmm. Every demon I would fight would keep me up at night. All right. They say they there, but when you need them, always out of sight. No concern with how I'm feeling in my private life. Niggas hate cause they ain't half as nice. Mm. The most fear like the Antichrist. Yeah. No beef unless it's serious, so niggas acting nice. Five billion is the asking price for every word enunciated, so I keep it slight. Shallow bars, the Glock yeah, pack is light. The mean and gleaming never it. ask for light. Straight shots, I never ask for Sprite. My face good, they Top always know right I'm now. right. I face facts while they rely on feelings. Really, it's been the women never he fuck got some with switches, niggas. Though. I'm the only catch thing on we the fearing is a sketchy nigga. Oh, if the tech printers, nigga. Come here, that back. See, that was the point right there. You heard that? That was the point to that stop was what it. it was. You see, he That's finished rapping. He was like, oh, yeah, let me hear that. Okay. Hey. All right. So, how we going to start? You want to start by introducing ourselves? Or you just want to jump right in. Like, how you feeling? Y'all know who we are. Okay. And they right. know where we at, right? Yeah, y'all know where we be. No, y'all don't know where we be. Y'all know where we at. Y'all don't know where we are. <laughs> oh, I don't know where you just went. Lick your tooth, though. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where you just went. A little bit, a little bit. Okay. Thank um, you. Um. God damn. That was your that was your neck popping. Oh. That was a clap, right? What was it? Oh, it was, it was it was the vape. Oh, it hit the floor. Oh my! Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since we ain't gonna do no introductions, let's just go ahead and smoke weed every day and CBD. And uh, you know who's the one behind the recording? And you know who else is here? Hey, it's the Queen Beach. Hey, you know it's me. Motherfucker, I got a ball here. Then we got some other individuals in the building. We have some more of the team here. You know what I'm saying? Ricky here. Um, goddamn, Ricky is a jack of all trades. I don't know what to call him because he does so he much, does but he's here. Okay. Then we got Glenn here. Glenn is a social media fucking like impresario. I don't understand it, but he's here. He's the fucking man. All right. He said some shit earlier that I'm still trying to understand. <laughs> Hey, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, understand insights. I don't. That's why you have a team. Hey, see? That's what we do. Um, All right. So, where's my notes? Let's make sure I wasn't doing anything crazy in my notes. Uh, Yeah, okay. Episode 101. Wow. Oh, no. That's the old one. Oops. I keep saying it. All right. You're so annoying. <laughs> 
<laughs> we all want to start it. If y'all want that footage, subscribe to the Patreon. Come we need a plug right here. That's yep. what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a plug, put a plug right, right here, right across floating bottom. across. Um, how you feeling, Pete? Where you want to start at? I don't care. You want to start in sports? You want to start in music? How you feeling? Um, let's see. Let's see. We can, we got more music than anything. So we gonna start there. Oh, you want to start with... Oh, let's get the sports out of the way. Because you got more music, or do you want to just talk music and then cap it with... All right, we can start with sports. We can get sports up out of here. Start Start with the music? Yeah, start with music. Where are we going? What are we doing? I don't know, Jordan. All right, she said start with music. Um, Well, the biggest thing in music is uh, this week, uh, we are recording this. This is September 3rd. Two albums came out this week. All right. We're going to start with Sunday, okay? Mm-hmm. Backstory here, guys. What? Damn, I keep driving. What's, what's going on? I got Butterfingers. Um, so here's the thing. We recently moved apartments. Um, real niggas got upgraded. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, if you can call it an upgrade, but you know. Um, and in the process of moving, which is fucking stressful, <laughs> um... My phone gets an alert, and this alert comes at about. I got this alert at what? Child, I don't know. This might have been eleven o'clock in the morning, mind you. I had been on Instagram and seen these these Instagram posts and things of that nature, and it says Kanye West finally releases Donda. Donda. So what happens is Air Jordan. Does what he does. He grabs his AirPods and he puts on Donda. And instantly, I feel the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah, God. Yes, we God. don't want no devils in our house, God. Yes, we Lord. want the Lord. Yes, and that's Jesus. It, God. Yes, God. I feel oh, delivered. My. Okay. Sound I like feel like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this album reminded me of? And I just thought about this today. <laughs> this album rem- reminded me of Chance's Coloring Book. It's reminiscent of Coloring Book. For the simple fact of we are bending a genre. Um, the mix of what they call secular. I, the term secular just seems so negative to me, but I understand why it's called secular. Worldly. You can worldly. Call worldly, worldly music. Come on now, Minister. Minister <laughs> P is here. She is here. She is willing to <laughs> loose, loosen hey, hey, from don't, you. Don't, don't play with God. Don't play. Not, oh, don't bro. play. It was a joke. But those Go who ahead. understand that joke can understand. Go ahead. But um, this album is genre bending. Mm. Um, it is an infusion of rock and roll, hip hop, R and B. Uh, in gospel music Anytime You get A nigga Like West Side Gun To talk about birds And God in the same album I'm here for it <laughs> I am here for it I'm here for a verse from Lil Durk where he talks about his little brother being killed. This man said my daddy did 20 years to come home to his son dying. That is, aside from anything Kanye has done, you got some of the biggest artists in music to really dig into their soul and give you real life bars. I think that's the message that people are missing. People are missing what Kanye West has done with this album. Like, I understand he's not somebody everybody wants to root for. I understand he's not the fucking, he's not Kanye of yesteryear. I mean, he's not college dropout. He's not late registration. He's not graduation. He is Jesus who is a freak for Jesus. Name of the episode, Jesus, A Freak for Jesus. No, it's not. That is it. It's not. You don't like that name episode? Absolutely not. All right. 
Sorry. I tried it. But um, anytime you can get J Electronica and the locks to essentially rap about God is an accomplishment. This album is a piece of art. People hate him for it. I mean, the intro of the album, the repeating of the of the phrase Donda, his mother's name. I learned online, and I don't know if this is true, but when you listen to it, it makes sense. The theory is the Donda chant is actually his mother's final heartbeat, mm-hmm. which fucked me up when I thought about it. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I got a little mixed. I was like, damn, that's that's fucking deep. Like, how do you sit there and listen to that? Like, knowing that you're creating this album and you're dedicating it to your late mother and that's some deep shit, bro. Neither here nor there. People don't like it. It's cool. I love it. Uh, it's a uh, top two, not two for me right now. And P ain't even listen to it. She won't listen to it. I tried to do it, listen to it. Try to get to listen to it early. She got mad. She didn't really get mad, y'all. She just looked at me crazy, and I was, I was like, about "All to right." Say, Why are you telling a lie again? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Uh, he played it. I just wasn't. I wasn't interested. But that was just me. Like I wasn't. I'm just not interested. You have to, it's like a class. You have to mentally prepare for K.A.B. It's not like other people you can just jump into it. You have to prepare for it because it's, you don't want to miss nothing. It's like, the, it's like the, it's almost like watching a Netflix series that's intriguing, you know? Like, you don't want to miss anything. And you're going to have to watch it a few times. You have to listen to it a few times before you grasp the whole concept unless you just interview like that, understand K.A.B. Mm-hmm. And I think people feel what they don't know. Who? Well, he just dropped one in 2019. No, last year. He didn't drop one last year. 2019. What did he drop? Jesus is King. Okay. And then the Sunday Service Choir album came out, but that's not no, really no, Kanye. Yeah. Jesus is King is. Yeah, I mean, but then yeah. with the Kanye we, we want to know about. The, the Kanye that people are looking for. I think Kanye threw a song with the Jesus is King and the gospel. Like, that's what they want. Even, even the whole... <sighs> See... I didn't like the Jesus King album because for me, like, I'm not the most religious person and I don't knock anybody who is. But I think that that album was just too much religion. Like, you went real live. Like, you went there with it. Like, you went Snoop Dogg gospel album with it. And I've still never listened to that because I don't think I want to hear the same dude who Told me about it ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. I don't think I want to hear your gospel album. Just being honest, that's just me. It's just me. Pete cousin. It is Pete cousin. That I told is her that. Not my cousin. <laughs> See what I told you. What I told you. That's Pete cousin. Y'all aggy. <laughs> he from Union. She from Union. It matches. Whatever. Um. Yeah, Jesus King was just too much for me. But this album, I rock with. Like I rock with Coloring Book. Coloring Book was a gospel rap hybrid and I fuck with it. <laughs> My rating for the Kanye album is a 30 out of 10 cuz Jay-Z I'm rapped on it. I'm happy for you. Now. Oh yeah, in the baby debacle. So, the baby backstory. I missed the third listening session. Uh, which, from my understanding, was the 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 best one. Uh, where he had a recreation of his childhood home. I missed that. Wow, look at her popping her ass in the nineties. That's crazy. Wow. Um, 
<laughs> Stop. <laughs> but I, I missed this third listening session, and I wake up to a text message from Baby Reek. Shout out to Baby Reek. But I wake up from this from sleep, and Baby Reek is like, Kanye took Jay Z off and put the baby. I said, "What?" And he was like, "Dog, I logged in. I heard the baby rapping over the beat that Jay Z's supposed to be on." He said, "I logged off and turned the stream off." <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Nigga said I did not want to hear that bullshit." <laughs> but let me shoot that boy, uh, Jonathan, some bell. Jonathan been been fucking shit up lately. Like that nigga rapped his ass off on that Kanye album, and I think niggas should put some respect on Jonathan's pen. Just like he rapped that Essence freestyle and that uh, Wakisha freestyle, whole lot of money freestyle. Baby been hey, the baby out here whacking shit. Okay, he been beating shit all summer. <laughs> what the? He is pap out Gang City right now. <laughs> you know, I understand he had a debacle, you know what I'm saying? But what his his little plan to get back hot is working. Okay? Did he, he going really back. Die? Yeah. People was really the playing. baby was getting ready to put an album out. That's why he was doing all them listening sessions and he was doing all them radio meetings and shit like that. Like, the baby was getting ready to drop again. But he goes down there to uh, Rolling Loud. Well, yeah, I know, but what I'm saying is that that really... Yeah, like, that, that fucked them up. Because I think the label was like, nah, we're going to have to push your shit back. You're going to have to goddamn hit the ground running. You're going to have to goddamn do Clean something. This up. And I think right now with these freestyles, um, this Kanye verse, uh, his his Summer Jam performance, I think he's back trying to wipe his chalkboard clean. Mm -hmm. And uh, y'all got some, y'all got to put some respect on Baby Pen. Okay. Put some respect on Baby Pen. And y'all niggas need to pay Lil Dirk and Lil Baby a lot of money because they have but not only made. Dirky -o. They have not only made Donda. These niggas are on certified lover boy and they are smoking shit. I think, I think it's beautiful because I think, I think it's the OGs putting the, young, the next generation mm -hmm. on. Because they know how to Is it that, or are they jacking the hotness of these young niggas? Why are you always out there the bad and stuff? Well, it's, that's a business move. Because so it's all Terry Motor. No. Because at the end of the day, they need them and, and, because it, it's a swap of faces. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's no barter. Yeah, it's barter a barter system. system. Yeah, oh, name of the episode, Barter people. System. Okay, I like that. But no, no, that's, that's good. You got people that's still listening to baby. Mm -mm. Mm. No, that's not First, good. They gonna go straight to Drake album just listen to the baby song and Lil Durk. You got kids that don't even know about Take Care, and you know. Poor children. It's a kid that don't know about Take Care. Poor children. <laughs> you know, it's like when kids like what's the DVD? So oh it's God. Like yeah. Well, the grassy. Y'all remember? Wait, Daniel it's DeGrassi? kids that don't know what a DVD is. Yes. Oh. Oh, I ain't ready. You getting dirty? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Your ass getting dirty. Yeah. 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 Zuri gonna know what a DVD is. She got Barney and Space Jam. Damn. Mm -mm. Damn. All right, P. Now's your chance. Get what? off all your certified lover boy. Uh, no, cause wait, listen. Let get me it off. Something. Let me explain something. Let me explain something. Cause I'm coming to rain. I ain't got nothing to get off because what's understood don't have to be explained. You got uh, we, uh, we have heard a platform. <laughs> Y'all heard it. Okay. Y'all heard it. Now I ain't going to lie. I'm going to tell y'all. Wait a minute. Let me get one more piece of meat and then I'm dead. Is this going to be like a new thing? You just going to eat on camera all the time? It's a problem. Mm. It's just funny. Because I be hungry. Because you sit here and just I got a hungry. full plate. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> we sit here trying to pop. I told Jordan that I was prepared to cry. Mm. I wanted to cry. Okay. I wanted, I just felt like when you say certified lover boy, I, I'm thinking like I'm about to be on some feel good mint condition, like Kiki Wyatt Avant type and love type shit. Complete opposite. 
the first time I heard it. So I said, okay, well, let me go back because I had my expectations here. Let me go back and let me just see what he's talking about. First of all, y'all, this is a fighting album. This shit was fucking. What you mean is a fight? Not album. album, not album. He's talking like he's talking a lot of trash. That nigga talked a lot of trash on this motherfucking album. Specifically, the shit, the yay. <laughs> I don't think Drake really want that problem. Why you? What? I think he do. Mm-mm. He told. I told you. He told a man, "Give your driver the address." And you know made what, that his de- you, your destination. You know what Drake he said, me of? "Use the address," which that's some whole shit that you leak that man's address like that. Not on like for real, for real. That's whole shit. Think Kanye? Yes, he did. Okay. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yeah, bro, if they yes, go he did. High, we, if they go low, we go high. It's only Michelle, bro. Yes, he did. Yeah, yes, he did. But see, I don't think it. Yes, he did. I, I feel like Drake's house address has got to be public knowledge, bro. He got like the biggest house in Toronto. He got like a whole street so in Toronto. Address, his address was, I looked it up. His address was not public. The neighborhood of his address is almost two, three hundred acres. It was public. So they knew that people was building something bigger because Drake bought a historic house, but he does not have the same address. The embassy, it ain't it? Something, yeah. It was on the land, but he does not have the same address. He his gave address. that man's address up, and that's some, that's some whole shit. Like Chris Brown said. And he spent millions paying people off with lawyers and stuff the right way to keep all that stuff anonymous. And mm-hmm. here come Yay Square headed ass. Wanting goddamn clout. And delete his goddamn address. That ain't wanting clout. Though. If I, first of all, I got the right to feel the way I feel. And I feel like he won the clout. So that's what it was. The, the funny part about it is. He probably didn't want clout, but I was saying it's clout. That's a great marketing tool. Clout. Conspiracy theory G says this whole Drake and Kanye thing is a devised plan amongst the 1% of hip hop to drive the sales of their albums. Absolutely. I don't really think they have an issue. Well, it's fun to imagine. But then a part of me does. It's Kanye funny to is imagine a, at the very least. Kanye is a sick nigga for real. Kanye, I don't think Kanye ever healed from the passing of his mother. That is evident. Yeah, for sure. I've been telling niggas that shit for years. Who you fall in love with and who you love and their upcoming and their upbringing has a lot to do with how you survive. That's an old life. And when you married into a family of Excuse my French, but publicity holes and stuff like that, you know. I think that's what had a lot to do with the Kanye J D beef. Oh yeah. No, that's one hundred percent the reason. Yeah. And business and you got Kim Kardashian You know what I'm saying? And I think it was just too much for Kanye. I think Is that super hit? Broke him down and stuff. I mean, Ye did try to Ye did invite him to the wedding that his side bitch was at. I don't feel like that's a friend. Personally. If as your homie, if I know you is off and you doing this, I'm not going to invite you to where your side bitch is or vice versa. I'm also not getting on stage yeah. at my yeah, concert. Yeah. I'm not getting on stage at my had concert. Jay-Z's and talk side bitch. In, is she, was she at the wedding or in the wedding? No. She in was. The in the wedding. At hold the on. Wedding. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Kim Kardashian is. Good homegirls. I don't, I don't know that they had allegedly. Sorry, like alleged. I don't know that they had a true bridal party because I really don't remember the wedding. I remember when it was because it went down in Paris. But Kim Kardashian is cool with the girl. Excuse me, I forgot her name. But the Becky with the good hair. Becky with the good. Becky hair. with the good hair is a big good friend of Kim Kardashian, who was actually going to be at the wedding. Jay Z being Jay Z, knowing like damn, side bitch at the wedding. Nope. Kanye, you think I'm finna bring Beyonce, Houston, Texas, nope. thugged out ass to this wedding? 
Nope. And my side piece here, you think Beyonce nope. don't know who that woman is? Beyonce gonna shut your wedding down. And you nope. know what? I got to ride with her. Nope. Cause if the house burning and we arguing, we nope. staying in this house. Tata got to take care of nope. my kids. So I mean, hey. Nope. Kanye nope. is a. Uh, we know he's bipolar. We know he like a sick genius nigga. Cause the shit he come up with, I still don't understand. But nope. you know. It is what it is. Now, certified mm-hmm. lover boy. Yeah. Are you done praising? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You done with the praise? Yeah. Good job. Job well done, Aubrey. Um job well done. Just know when Jordan starts to try to fire his stuff, I have the I got the clip ready for him. Mm-hmm. I'm riding. Go ahead. Go Say what wait, you guys say. Cause you, you you did it, so I'm gonna give you Right. All right. Um. I jump in. What that mean? Somebody talking about me. Think about me. Uh, I don't know. Right. Now. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Oh, here you go. Jesus. What you do, Jesus. bro? Jesus. Hold on. Thank you. While she's cleaning, let me get my <laughs> shit off. I'm sorry. <laughs> so. Drake, you finally drop. You finally fucking did it. Right? It's always, it's always because, bro. It's always, it's always like this. It's not, it's not personal, but at the same time, this is. Come on, I gotta set the scene. I'm the Picasso of podcast, and I gotta paint the picture. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The Bosky out of broadcast, and that's me. I gotta set the scene. Lord now listen. God, Drake has pushed this album back a hundred fucking times. So did yeah. I give you that. Okay. I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. Keep so on. as this album gets pushed back, I'm like, okay, this must gonna be some fire. It's going to be fucking certified smokers. Okay? They were. Okay, sorry. Because when I seen the title, Certified Lover Boy, I said, all right, Drake is the biggest troll in American history. He's a bigger troll than 6 9 And Drake always does something that's like, what the fuck are we doing? So... No, he did that. But Drake is a bigger troll than that. Is he? Is he? I just had a moment. I just had a moment. I just had a moment. The cover art alone is troll. Definitely. A bunch of pregnant pregnant emojis. emojis. Yeah, definitely. It's a troll. The views cover was a fucking troll. The cover to um. No, not take care because take care. Take care is like one of the only covers that I actually like. Liked like I like that cover art. Cause that, that um, it's right. still not nothing was the same. Brett, I'm talking about. Come on, Brett, come um, on. <laughs> okay, so now I see who, who got what side. Uh, oh, that's a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. I, I am nothing was the same. That's my favorite Drake album to this day. To this day, now. Anyway. Drake is a troll. That's where I was. Okay, so let me just clarify. I never said the album was bad because I really do. Fo- I I personally prefer Take Care over it. She prefers sappy ass shit. So the then I just I just told y'all what I was expecting out of this album. Yes, I like. She a sap ass nigga. I really man. am. I really sap ass am. boy. Here we go. <laughs> Sap, sap yeah, version of back there. That's up. Oh boy! Uh, but here we go. Drake is a troll. That's where I was. Okay. Yeah. Let sorry. me let me set the scene for y'all because I keep I keep getting sidetracked. My apologies. Um. So he pushes his album back, and I'm like, all right, this shit gonna be fire. When I see that he says he's dropping it Friday, I didn't believe him. I honestly did not believe that shit. When I seen Cardo tweet. 
the cover art, I thought it was a bunch of emojis. Like, I thought it was just a bunch of emojis on a fucking, like, piece of graphic. I was like, oh, okay. Cool. I didn't think nothing of it. When I found out that's the cover art, I said, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Then I get the album. And I turn it on. Champagne, whatever's the intro. Matter of fact, hold on. Because, you know, we, 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 we didn't go that deep in the Donda. Because it was no need. Uh, yeah, I, to be honest, now that, now that's, that's just a fact. Boy, I hope they ain't hear that, boy. Damn, that was rough, boy. It was. You missed it, so I ain't even gonna repeat it. Ah, uh, where the fuck is this shit? What'd you say? Albums. I didn't say nothing. Come on, what were you saying? You heard it? I heard what we Oh, okay, saying. cool. Where the fuck is this shit at, man? Type it in. Oh, listen, man. This iPad hit the, shit. Hit the button. Relax, bro. Relax. Oh, no, sir. You didn't. There we go. Boom. Okay, here we go. Certified lover boy. Champagne party. It was poetry. cool. Champagne poetry. Excuse oh, me. Yeah. Damn, I'm a little dyslexic tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but champagne poetry. It was cool. On the scale of the intros, it might be last. It's not better than Tuscan Leather. It's not better than the one off of fucking um, Take Care either. Because I didn't, I mean, Take Care is not an album that I care for too much, but it's not better than that. That intro was cool as five minutes worth of rapping. I see what you were trying to do. But as a nigga that I know can actually rap, you rapped cool. It was mid. Here we go. It was midget. You know what I'm saying? That shit could have been bought at $5 a gram. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. Uh, Poppy's home. I like that one. Girls want girls. I like that one. Yo, this nigga Drake said he a lesbian. In the Bible was cool. Well, I mean, it's a lot of rappers that have said that were lesbians. <laughs> no, it just tickled me when he said it. Um, he said you're a lesbian. So the Jay Z verse here was a good verse. Um, I fuck with the verse. He smoked it. You didn't. No, I really did. No. I really did after but it's the thing about when I got to the whole verse was I was already in like this point in the album where I was like I hope it turns up cuz I expected it to be a, a rap. I I expected Drake to show his rap chops off and I think he did show his rap chops off but he didn't get them off like he should have. The songs that I went back to on his album was uh I liked In Too Deep because that's the one with the uh the um Hood We Good Drain Big Money Man the throw it off flip the uh Pimp C record and Knife Talk anything Project Pat anything with the Project Pat flow I'm fucking sold but Yeah you was just cheating in the way too sick I wasn't jigging to it. Yes, I were. like the visual. You were jigging. The song is very cheesy. No, it's not. That shit fucking cheesy as hell. No. The song is, the album is designed for multiple concepts. But Drake gives you a color banger. He gives you something for the ladies. He gives you something for the fellas. He gives you something for the single people. Something for the relationship. Everybody can relate. That's why a lot of people say say Drake falling off with it. Drake always deal with the same thing. Drake has an algorithm kind of like Facebook and Instagram. And you know what You saying it's an algorithm Explains why I can't stand the shit he put out Don't give me shit that always works I like experimental hip hop I'm a Travis Scott fan for Christ's sake He just can't He's right, never satisfied Um, Drake's only been out Drake probably got Travis Scott by essentially three or four years. No, I lied. Drake, Drake been rapping since like oh nine. I think comeback season was like oh nine oh eight. Oh honey, it's, it was. But the thing about comeback was, season was Drake was comeback season Drake was a rapper. Like that singing shit has always been there. 
but he always stuck to his rap chops. Listen, I listen, think listen, I, listen, listen. He was, he was, but his rap shit always outshadowed this shit. The only reason Drake ever got respect is because Drake can rap. I don't take that from the man. The man can rap. Stop giving me that R and B sing song listen, bullshit. Listen, listen, just like, because you, so you just want him to rap, rap. No, I he, want him to spit that shit. Jordan, I want him to Jordan. stand up on the track, and I want that nigga to like look at the record and like rap. Like, you know what I like about this album? This is no cap. So like this is me. It's it's cool. I'll I'll probably go back to. I like Dark Lane demo tapes better than this. All first few listens. Dark Lane demo tapes has some shit on it. But this album, I think what it is is I like I like the shit where Drake get to rapping and Drake would be like he he got a line on there he say uh fuck what was the line like he'll rap something and then he'll be like and and, 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 then, and he'll stop but you know the line you know the words are supposed to come out of that like that style of shit that's when I like Drake when Drake start to do like the different styles and he starts to bend his shit like I like the nonstop record from Scorpion. Because of how he raps, like I like, shit, no, like I like when he do shit like that, like when he get into that flow. I don't like like the sing song shit is cool, like jaded my shit, but it's just like, like I want you to experiment more, get more into the bag where you're bending the genre, where you're really fucking with that flow, like, cause you got it. The nigga can flow, like some of that shit be so swaggy, I be like, ooh. But then he go back to some shit, and I be like, <sighs> "It's just what you want him to be a little more consistent." No, not even. I don't. Consistency is cool, but he's consistent. Though. But sometimes you got to step outside of that box. All right, I got you. I got you. Like all of my all of my favorite rappers, I can honestly say they don't stick to one. Style, they don't do something the same all the time. Like the fact that Ricky was like, he has an algorithm. It explains why my mind doesn't gravitate toward it. Like the internet aspect of like the music, like the Instagram captions, the shit. Like he addressed the shit on out. He's like, yeah, I got Instagram captions. I got this. I got that. Like, don't always give me that. Give me something that I can. Nah, I mean. But what you gotta, what you feel to, re, what you feel? I don't even know what you feel. Let me just stop right there. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Just, just because. Damn, I knew what I was gonna say. Okay. <laughs> we have this conversation all the time, y'all, and this is why I'm so flush talking about this because, uh, with JG and Drake. It's almost as if you're discrediting him for the for what he really is simply because you want him to be something else. And I just I'm sorry, I just don't feel like um that's that's a valid opinion. Because um ooh, I ain't gonna say um invalid opinion because your opinion matters. My apologies. What I mean by that is, but it's invalid by the standard. By my standard, yeah. But yeah, your opinion is is valid. But um, just because he ain't, because I don't even know what the fuck you mean when you say rapping, rapping. Hell, they all rapping to me. If you make my head bop, you make my head bop. Okay. Now with that, okay. Okay. Wait. Hold that point. See, you remember we had a conversation about. You you know how I say like. If a person music make it to you, mm -hmm. it's a hit because you're you're the way you take in music is more or less of like you represent the person who isn't is into the technical aspect of all no, of this I'm shit. Not. Like I am a technical fucking rap fan. Like I am a rap fan to the point to where like I listen to a song and I'll be hearing like I can hear different sounds and I can hear different. Like my ear is trained to like yeah, be into the inner workings of music. Nope. So I'm a different fan. Like I'm more of a damn, like, did you hear how Tyler put this sound or did this on such song? Or like that's why I fuck with Kendrick Lamar, because Kendrick Lamar is an artsy nigga. Like 
the way he put together his flows and the way he hits the pocket of a beat, like everything about what he does, just it it, it becomes the greatest shit I've ever heard. Mm. Like the newest Kendrick verse to me is the illest shit I've heard all year. But then I also fuck with his little cousin Baby King because it's genre bending. Like it's hip hop, but I'm willing to take you to different places. I'm willing but to see, give that's you the things. Thing. I'm not gonna say that Drake won't do that or can't do that, but that's just that's that's not where he is in his his career right now. That's not that's not his He's safe. <sighs> that's just that's not you can look at it as him being safe, whatever. At the end of the day, that's just not where he is. Maybe that's just not his vision for himself, but that doesn't take away from what he's done or what he's doing. Like, I just feel like it's just kind of, eh, to completely discredit a man just because, oh. Oh, I'm not, I'm not oh, discrediting yes, you are. him. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, I just yes, feel like the album is mid. That's, that's a discredit because it's that's not. That's not a discredit. Yes, it is because it's you not. Know? Okay. It's far from mid. So, okay. It's far from me. You ain't you, even say five me. You right? say you that. You ain't even say. You say that, right? Mm. But. That's the type of that's what I've been getting in my inbox on my Facebook wall tweets. I have been getting berated. I mean, I have been getting fucking berated behind like and Donda. I've been seeing it. Like I call niggas uncultured swine. Like I, I have gotten into some fucking debates online, bro. You really need to stop. Cause, like, I get, crazy. I get why niggas don't see. I get I get what it is about the Donda album that you don't understand. But I also understand that you probably wouldn't have you probably didn't listen to Yeezus. You probably didn't care to listen to Yeezus. You didn't care to listen to the life of Pablo. You probably didn't listen to 808s and Heartbreaks. Anyone who says this shit from Ye is not it can't be a person who sat down and listened to 808. Because they're not fans of Ye. But that's what I'm they're saying. They're not fans. So if I'm not a fan of something, listen, I'm going to tell you something about me. Which you already know. I'm going to tell you something about me. Especially <laughs> when it comes to this music. Well, in, in general, once I shut down on you or once I tune you the fuck out, that's it. So with Ye, I don't have any, personally, I don't have any interest in yay these people that you're referring to they just may not have an interest in him which would mean no they did not listen to this further proving why they don't care for the donda sh the donda oh i was about to say a bad word the donda album hmm. okay that's just what it is if i don't like somebody or if i don't care to support them or their music for whatever reason then no when you bring it up I'm not going to be in agreement with you. I don't like it. I'm not one of those people to say I don't like I don't like him, but then I'm breaking my neck to hang around him. I'm not one of those people to say, "Oh, I don't like Ye's music," but then I turn around and still listen to it cuz I just want to see what he do. No, if I say I don't like you, then I don't like you. Respect. You ain't got nothing to do with it. Well, for me, again. You got nothing to do with it. Oh, that's all about the money. That's what's making it so fun. Like, that's the, at the end of the day, that's all it is. That it's, is all it for is. For me, it's two different experiences. What well, for me? Like, I'm not I'm not going to go to the club listening to Donda. That's what I was just about to say. And I'm not going to goddamn go to uh, uh, an event hosted by the Dr. Elder. <laughs> Listen to Certified Lover Boy. Yes, you will if I'm in the car. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Your son likes Donda, by the way. Hang on. Then I'm sure he'll like Certified Lover Boy, too. I mean, it don't have as much bounce. Zuri will like it. You know why? That's all right. Like I'll put on me. Jail Part 2, and his favorite rapper comes on. And as soon as he hears Jonathan Kirk, it's up. <laughs> That's it's, what up. It it's up. It's <laughs> up. Don't even worry about it. That's what it is. Don't even worry about it. Let him, the baby let, let him fuck around and do a music video. <laughs> Kanye said, Kanye said, we got to have the baby on my album. He's the only person who said he would vote for me in public. <laughs> <laughs>
Did he really say that? He fucking me. He texted that shit to somebody. Like, he realized texted that shit. He supported me in public to be president. Lord. Anyways, moving along. <sighs> in other news, uh, Kendrick Lamar is leaving TDE. Congratulations, King. Conspiracy Theory G says Kendrick Lamar will now give us albums on the regular. We will not have any more breaks. Every year. I ain't gonna say every year, but every it, two it, years. it it'll be more closer to it'll be more closer to the year mark than every five. Mm. You know, uh, if you haven't checked out what he said, I would read it, but it's pretty long. Yeah, he right. basically said that um, he the type of nigga who don't have a phone for months, and uh, he's been experimenting and. Uh, he had a boogeyman's back. Mm. Um, Let's see what you got, Kumpu. He gonna smoke shit. Y'all Thank thought God. y'all thought certified lover boy and Donda was good. Thank God. Okay. He is about to well, smoke let me just, shit. Let me enjoy certified lover boy for right now. Mm. And then, I'm telling you, he gonna. You know, well, I'll talk to K-Dot when he get here. What's, what's next? He gonna fuck shit up. Larry June, Jay Worthy, and Griselda are doing an a album. And I'm excited for it um a lot of people may not know who those people are well if you listen it is to the a VAC deep podcast, rap bag for you know jg them. if you listen to VAC, yeah you know them because jordan mentions griselda every week there's not a week that goes by that he doesn't talk about griselda, griselda the niggas alive. or uh jay-z so and I could have turned this into the whole cast. I'm like. proud of you we're gonna keep it going so that you don't you know slip into that hole so what's up you ever heard of Bishop Sycamore? No, and I asked you, and you, I think you ignored me. I was like, "What is this?" That's why this this is you why this me. is why I ignored you. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and explain it to the people. Okay, who's Bishop? Uh, Bishop Sycamore is a fake high school comprised of JUCO. I'm not gonna call them dropouts, but second chance JUCO players uh-huh. looking for a home. And they somehow somehow finessed their way onto and ESPN. ESPN. Yeah, okay. And they got their ass whooped. Zero to 80. 58 to zero is what I seen. 58 to zero. Where you get 80 from? Lord. How you get beat 58 Lord. to zero? My Lord. On national television. By high school kids. These Black is people. grown ass men on that field. Black people. It's got to be... These niggas, bro, <laughs> these niggas, and their logo the is the Mandalorian. You know the shit from Disney Plus, the Star Wars show, the Mandalorian? They weren't going to be IMG. That's their logo. They weren't going to be IMG. Though. That's who they played? They played IMG, bro. IMG. They still kids, though. Bro, but IMG is IMG. Shit, I can't, I, I can't go up against these shirts. While they are a powerhouse. We talking about grown ass men. I understand. Well, grown that's ass women. I'm not going up against them kids. Oh no, you put me on the field with some flags. They, they quit, but they nope, nope, nope. Kills, bro. Listen. Zuri be outrunning me sometimes. I'm trying to figure out how the fuck they there. get a game. How you get a game with IMG? Uh-huh. Huh? I ain't saying that. Oh. How do you get <laughs> a game against the IMG Academy? Hey, somebody told some good ass stories. I'm talking about You get the game You get good, it booked Good lives And you get it booked On ESPN They got paid for that No No They just had the cameras The cameras It was just camera crew And shit out there I wonder what kind of lie You gotta tell I wanna meet the nigga That The fin- Huh That's what I'm saying The lie You got away with this About 15, 20 years ago though Low key Before the internet They'd have been straight Super straight. So what kind of repercussions could come, come from this? Like, is, is apparently, this apparently, it's a warrant out for the arrest of the coach or oh, something. Lord. Why? But I'm not really him? sure what his charge would be. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Ricky wanting to look up the uh, arrest uh, warrant. My lord. But then I heard. Oh, I have no it's idea. Just, just type in. No, that's the name of the school. Oh well. If you that's, that's a key word. Yeah. So let me let me let me also say this because I went digging a little bit into this story and 
there was a guy who actually went to Bishop Sycamore. He did a piece for some website, magazine, something like that. And he was like, bro, they had us in these big ass houses in mid the Midwest and one of them big cities out there. But it was in the big ass houses. And he was like, we had to basically rob to eat because there's no food in these houses. They just put us in there. No couches, no beds, just a house. So basically they in there sleeping on the floor, going to practice, having to rob to eat. It's niggas from all type of different gangs and hoods and sections in America, yes. And they did that to be on the TV? No, this was them. This was how they how he recruited. Ah. Okay. All right, here we go. Transparency moment. I can't say no names because obviously That'd be kind of like me snitching. So I'm not going to say any names. But Spartanburg actually had something like this, but it was for basketball. Mm -hmm. There was this coach. And off camera, you know, I'll tell y'all whoever this is. But the coach had an AAU team, which then turned into him vying for high school jobs and shit like that but this coach was not really a coach mm. he just had a little paper mm. so he's able to make things happen and able to get things put in place because I got paper I got a little bit of pool he then starts his own high school cause you know they got like this high school program up there at SCC where, like, you actually can get high school credits and you can finish up your high school diplomas and all of that. So they were going to school at SCC, but they were playing basketball through this academy. Now, when I was working at Foot Action, I met a few of these guys from said academy because they would come into the mall, they buy sneakers. Like, a lot of them were like, they, you know, this is around the era of the phone posit and shit like that when all of that was hot. So I actually sold a pair of phones to one of the guys that played ball. I see him maybe six months after I sold him the phone, the phone posits. And he was talking about how said coach, you know, had him in apartments, had him in housing and all that. But he was like, bro came in, he had keys to all the houses. And he literally went in there, took some of these boys' shoes, and was actually selling their shoes, like, out in the community type shit. Yeah. But... This when I heard about this Bishop Sycamore shit, it reminded me of the shit in Spartanburg. Like we actually had some shit like that. That's crazy. Like niggas in my age bracket were going to play for this dude. Mm, 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 mm. Matter of fact, Ricky know the dude I'm talking about. Okay, we're well, moving on so we find out later. Ricky knows him. You do know him. Ricky Jordan. I'm up. Uh... What we at? What we at? Fifty five minutes. <clears throat> Roy Johnson wrote mad checks when they went somewhere to hotels and stuff. Uh, and that's the coach's name? Yeah, Roy Johnson. Roy and, Johnson. And checks were labeled Education, Educators Group of New York. But they were bad checks. So, uh, so he going in. He going His to name is Roy Johnson. Fraud. You said Roy Johnson, right? Leroy Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Leroy. Princess. Princess. Yo. He also has a domestic. He also has a domestic policy. I'm gonna punch him, and I don't hit him. But today gonna be today, cause I feel like honestly, y'all, he been trying me. He been trying me a lot lately. And Educators group of New York. He has a domestic violence case. No. Defaulting on a hundred thousand dollar loan. Oof. First merchant bank. Oof. Yeah, he has scammers. There's nothing wrong with scamming. Damn. So he scammed his way to ESPN. Told you, he told a good lie. Damn, boy, that's hard. I be knowing. Oh, and he had the boy standing in the apartment complex and he fled eviction. Mm. 
Cause he had them. He paid. He went in debt for this team, for this scam, for this team to lose. I would be dead. Well, maybe. Wait. Now that you say all of that, maybe this is something that he was genuine. He maybe he's a. He maybe he's not scamming. He's a bad businessman. Cause that's a lot of things that he he did. Okay, he he had a gym membership. He had these houses or whatever, whatever. Maybe the nigga was trying to get some up off the ground, and he might have made some bad decisions, like you said, a little bad. Well, hang on, I don't believe in look for real, for real. But you know, maybe it just was not his season. Mm. And come on, you know, shoot him some bell, Pete. It's res, it's res, this is the result right now. He'll come up out of this. If you know his intentions were pure. You know? Right. I don't know. I just feel like all of those things, like, they kind of go together. Right? Is it just me? No. I mean, I like I like the optimism. That's me. You know, I be trying to look I like at the, the glass optimism. half full versus half empty. Because I heard all that shit and I was like, damn, this nigga finesse now, of the, the year. The, the domestic violence. Yeah, that shit different. I got. I. I don't, I don't know. They the oh, they was arguing. Yeah. They was arguing. She probably would tell him, "You going in debt buying these badass kids?" Yep. <laughs> he was defending the boys. Yeah. You know. Them, them, them boys like my son, baby. Them That's like it. my son. God damn it. And neighbor called the police. Hell yeah. And he cut up when the police mm. got there. That's what it was. You seen the Suki Hana video? My lord. <laughs> Everywhere. I don't know, boy. Jay, you sound like, boy, you sound like he was watching Tip Drill over there, boy. Yeah, I just seen it one time. That's all I did. You, you seen it more than one time. No, I was. Well, I watched it a few times, y'all, because I was just, it was a lot going on. I ain't. I think it. I watched it twice. I, late, y'all sitting in the group chat, I, was, it was I saw the whole damn day later. I forgot it was in there until I seen Suki with the good coochie. You know what? Her, I can I don't really take Suki seriously. I don't take her seriously. So this video, like it, I don't take it seriously. They was in a bump and ugly. There, there was a lot going on. Oh, just go in the group. It's in the group chat. Go to Twitter. But um, you could definitely find it quick in the group chat. Suki. Is it? Yep. That Suki Hana. Suki Hana. That's all I can say about it. Would you hit Suki? Mm-mm. Uh-uh. No. I think I think she kind of like lost like no, I just my it. hornball card when she threw up on that man penis. No, no thank you. Cause I, I, I see that part, my <laughs> what? I believe that. Who threw up on somebody? On you. Oh. My boy would punch her on top of her head. I would not have. I'm just playing. <laughs> 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 is, that, is that a charge if you throw up on me and I punch you on top of your head? I mean, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But Suki got coochie everywhere. A whole lot of it. And, I just uh, want to know what like what the conversation was like to get the girls. That, hey, like, y'all go out there and y'all just be gay. Just go eat each other out. Oh, fuck. Suck titties. Hey, bump them up. Shout it with the. That, it was just one little setup. Boy, they was going to fucking town. When they I, was scissoring? Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Move it along. The girl on girl porno love in me was excited watching this video, but then I just realized it's just too much going it's on. A, like, t- it's a lot of juice being flown around in this lie. music video. No, you got to watch it a couple of times. Yeah, I watched it a couple of times. And I'm going to tell you why you got to watch it. I was like, wait a minute, what's she doing? Like, ah, I just started. Oh, okay. See, I got to watch it in its entirety a couple of times because. I be needing to get the whole effect so that I understand when I watch it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to see the, I want to get an OnlyFans just to see the video in its full entirety. You seen it? No, that ain't the whole video. 
It's only two minutes and 13 seconds of it. It's more to that. You could tell, by the way, Buddy walked in um, on that clip. When it first started with Buddy with the dreads, I was like, oh, yeah, it's more to this. Well, you play too. You are very into the I'm more like a visual type of guy. What is this? I'm about it. I'm about it movie. Yeah. I'll be watching shit like this, bro. Where we at? Hour two? You got anything else you want to talk about? No. We got all that. Yeah. Melo said that the Detroit Pistons picking up Darko Milicic still haunts him to this day. Melo, I'm with you. Poor thing. He about to get that shit, though. But see, we could have had two rings going into right now and possibly getting our third, fourth, fifth, or sixth. I don't know. Should have, could have, would have. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, but I mean, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Had Melo went to Detroit, think about it. Melo going to Detroit. This is NCAA championship Melo. Like this is, I I think he might have been college player of the year Melo at that point. Melo coming in, you go to. The fucking Pistons. Like, those Pistons are only comparable to the bad boy Pistons. You insert Melo into that equation, right? And they, you know, fucking, uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's what, what's what's that boy's name? Mm-hmm. Tayshaun Prince. Mm-hmm. Tayshaun Prince ass was not going to goddamn start over Melo. No. Halfway through the season, they'd have been like, damn. Melo ass is that nigga. Cause you ain't you ain't really gotta play too much. I mean, Melo probably would have played defense had he went to that team. Cause them niggas weren't gonna let that big tall ass nigga not play D. Rasheed Wallace, Ben Wallace, Chauncey Billups, Rip Hamilton, Melo. You think Melo ass wasn't gonna play D? Hell, even if Melo was six man, that's easily rookie of the year. And the six man trophy for Melo. Come on, bro. What's up? Shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> Y'all, before we get out of here, let me just say this football season is upon us. <laughs> and I just want y'all to know something. Every week Dallas loses. The hell I'm on her ass. First okay. Uh, and when Carolina goes into Jerry World and we put that whooping on them uh, fucking boys, uh, I'm on her ass. Uh, 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 That's why your team ain't got nothing in 2000. Neither is yours. Yeah, we do. Yours. I done been to the bowl. And you threw it. 2015. And you threw it. Your last win was and 96. You it. And you threw it. 19. If you're going to go, you, gotta win. you might as well win. 1996. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Spy High got a uh, state ring in the uh, past. No. We got a state <laughs> ring in the past 10. Past 10 years. What's that, 2016? It had to be women. It, it 15. Women. Is that dormant last ring 2009? Oh, it better not be. Dormant last ring was 09. I don't know, Chad. Chad on last week, Chad. The last time I remember dormant going to state was 09 when y'all won. And you watch on the sidelines right next to me. Oh, that's a fact. I was there. He was there. Yep. Because, shit, dormant ass should have had, y'all should have went back to back, 08 and 09. Damn. That's me, Sharon and Avery, because I'm going to tell you, Brett, and I be I be thinking about this all the time. Like, Johnny Ass was at quarterback, and I'll never forget because I was actually standing behind the end zone watching this play. I watched Johnny drop back. He looked at Sharon. Sharon got 16 burn niggas on him. He looked over there at Avery, and Avery standing there by himself. I'm talking about literally like he could have took a nap, Brett. Avery ass could have sat there and took a nap. You know what the fuck Johnny threw it to? Sharon Pete. 
Every time I think about it, I'll be like, damn, bro. Had Johnny just been like, damn, don't throw it to him. Throw it to Avery. Because Avery, seven foot three, he was going to catch the ball. Hey, shout outs to y'all, man. You know, I always think about that game. I don't even know who the hell Dorman was playing, but Johnny got hit. And that nigga did a, a bloop, bloop. And he came down. And it it, it it looked like he hit his neck, but he he did. I think I remember that game, that, too. That, that fucking bounce. I'll be damned if he didn't pop right back up. But y'all, in that split second, everybody in the stadium was like, whoa. Like he did a. Or, yeah. See how I many now we sitting here talking about all this. All these niggas shooting with the spine high, but that's another story for another day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ricky ass should have went to Union, from what I understand. Oh Lord. So guys, <laughs> um, <laughs> they say you, they say you are the uh, mayor of Union now. So y'all, Pete, if you are tuned in, um. Thank you. Thank you if you made it through this, what, one hour, seven minutes. We appreciate it. Yeah. Um, make sure that you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are listening or watching us on YouTube. And if you are um, listening on the streaming digital um, platforms, mm -hmm. like, comment, rate. Please share across everything. Everything. Um, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Is it, it? Subscribe to Hold our on. Patreon. Facebook, Instagram, it's a, Twitter. We're going to create a TikTok page, yeah, too. Yeah, we need to get a TikTok. We'll have a TikTok. It is, it's going to be mostly Jordan, y'all, because. Yeah. D Jordan? Y'all, I, no, do, I don't Give do. the social media man some praise. Over no, there. I'm talking about oh. owning. When we, like, like in, in terms of us being together and doing stuff, it'll be you to remember to pull the shit out and, like, do. Do shit on the TikTok because I forget about it. We have a whole social media okay. man now. Okay, so you don't think when we um? I mean, I'm of course I have access to it, but no, I we know gotta. what I'm saying, y'all. When it comes down to, I ain't doing TikTok challenges. Yeah, it'll be Jordan. No, That's it won't. It'll be uh -uh. Jordan. That's no, it what won't. I'm talking about. No, nope. it'll be Jordan. It's gonna be Princess talking about Corvette, Corvette. <laughs> the fuck. It'll be Jordan because... Think I'm about, think, you, you think my goofy ass going to be to my yeah, Corvette, that's, Corvette? That's Hell no. Nah. That's where the views go. Ask the, ask the social media man. He'll tell you they want to see you do the Corvette, Corvette over me. No, I'm going to tell you what's going to get us to go viral, but I ain't going to tell you right now. Finish up your speech. My God. Well, guys, <laughs> um, like I said, yeah, like, comment, share, rate, subscribe, share. Comment, rate, all that good stuff. Um, that's all. Um, we gone. So. We gone.